Hello guys, if you are looking to play around with artificial intelligence or if you are looking to install and download machine learning models on your local systems like Llama or any Mistral, Mixtral and or any other generative AI application, then you would need a system with a GPU installed or in other words, you would need an accelerated system. Now, I would highly suggest that instead of buying your own GPUs or accelerated system, you just rent it from any public cloud provider, play around with it. And if you feel any value and then you still want to do that massive investment of thousands of dollars, then go ahead and buy any local system with the GPUs. When I say GPU, GPU stands for graphical processing unit and it is crucial for accelerating the computational processes required for training and running complex machine learning models. GPUs are favored in AI development because they are designed to handle parallel tasks efficiently, allowing them to process large data sets and perform complex mathematical calculations at a much faster rate than traditional CPUs. This capability makes GPUs indispensable for deep learning which is a subset of AI that involves neural networks with many layers. By leveraging GPUs, researchers and developers can significantly reduce the time it takes to train models, enabling more rapid iteration and development of AI technologies. Now you might have noticed that I have used the word acceleration here. In the context of GPUs, acceleration means enhancing the speed and efficiency of computing processes, particularly for tasks that involve handling large volumes of data or complex calculations like graphic rendering or machine learning. GPUs achieve this by performing many operations in parallel, significantly reducing the time required to complete these tasks compared to using traditional CPUs alone. So that is why I would highly suggest that you select a virtual machine in any cloud provider of your choice which has GPUs. Having said that, one of the most frequent questions I get on my channel is that, okay, so if I'm using AWS, then which EC2 instance with GPUs should I select and how to select um, that instance as a proper GPU because they are not cheap, they're expensive. So we need to find some cost performance balance. I have done few other videos too where I go into a lot more detail about this. But in this video, I'm going to give you a specific information as how to select that instance. Go to this website from AWS, which is a public cloud provider and I'll drop the link in video description. This shows you all the instance types which are available in AWS. On the left hand side, click on this accelerated computing, this one. It will take straight to the instant types which has the GPUs and they range from this VT1 to P5. So VT1 is the lowest one, P5 is the most powerful one. Now, once you are here, how to know which instance to select because as you can see, there are dozens of them. So it's become very confusing at heart. Now, if you're just starting out, I would highly suggest you just simply go with G4DN because G4DN comes up with one GPU of 16 GB of VRAM and in GPUs, VRAM matters. The more RAM or VRAM or video RAM a GPU has, the more powerful it would be, the more heavy model you can download. But if you're just looking to go with any quantized version of model under two, three, um, billion parameter size then G4DN is fine. Now within G4DN there are a lot of sizes. So G4DN is instance type. Within instance type you have different sizes. So for example we have G4DN XLR, G4DN 2X, 4X, 8X and the more higher you go the double the cost and the more the cost. And I will shortly show you how you can calculate that cost. But look at the spec. G4 DNX large has one GPU, four vCPUs and 16 GB of memory, not VRAM. But this is the GPU memory. Normally when you are running large language models, even the contest one, you should have at least 32 GB of memory. So I would say for a starting one, G4 DN2X large makes sense. 
because it gives you a starting point to run the smallish models uh, or SLM in the quantized way. So I would suggest you start with this one. Now, whenever you are looking to install or download a generative AI application or large language model, the first thing you need to do that from model card, get some information as how much minimum GPU memory you need. Start with 32 GB of uh, memory in any case. But for GPU memory, always check the model card as what is the bare minimum. For example, you are told that you would need at least 24 GB of VRAM. Then G4DN 2X large won't work there. Not even any other. You would need to go to G4DN 12X large. But it has 64 GB uh, of VRAM. That you don't need. It's very expensive server. So you would need just 24 GB of VRAM. So but so it means that this instance type G4DN doesn't work here. Okay, now in that case, check the next one, the G5 one. Now, if you look at the G5 one, you straight away say, see that this has 24 GB of VRAM. So this works here. Now, should we go with G5X large? But it has, it, it has just got 16 GB of memory, which is very low. You should have at least 32 GB of memory so in that case g5 2x large makes sense and so on so if you need more memory no more cpus then keep going up and you can see that you even get let me scroll you even get 192 of uh, vram with g5 48x large now it's very expensive and how expensive let me show you so for example let's first check the cost of g5 2x large Go to this website which is called as calculator.aws and I'll drop the link in the uh, video description. Click on create estimate. Now here, region, I'm in Sydney region so I'll just select my Sydney region which is AP Southeast 2. Then service we are looking at EC2. So just configure it. And then Tenancy shared is fine. Operating system. Uh, let's go with Windows. Window number of instance one. Okay, now keep scrolling down. Here we wanted to search for G5 dot 2x large. Just type it here, and you see that it is already populated. Select it. Now keep scrolling down. Now here is the thing, you get four options. There is something called as compute saving plan, saving, which is uh, if you buy the instances in bulk and instance compute power in bulk and then commit to a one year or three year plan with AWS, they give you a massive discount. But normally if you are just using it for personal usage, let's select with the on demand one, the third option. And you can see if you run this G5 2x large instance, 24 hours a day for a full month, you will be charged around 1419 US dollar per month. So for example, if I'm in Australia, I would need to convert it to my Australian dollars and you can convert this in your local currency. So this is how much it cost. Now a fun fact, if I go to GF G5.4x large, for example, I say it for, I basically am doubling the instance type the cost almost doubles and I would just click somewhere here select it 4x large and then you see it has doubled almost doubled and how about like that was 48 select this one and you don't want to see the numbers here about 22 almost 22,000 US dollar per month so that is like a brand new car. Um, okay, so this is how you select your instances in AWS plus this is how you calculate the cost. As I said, I'll drop the link to both of these links in video's description and then you can check it out. And uh, just for fun, if you go to P5 and there is a P548X large if you just copy it because you can see it has um, 192 vcpus it has a gpu memory of 60 640 gb 
let's calculate it let me go up just paste it here okay so it's not available it seems in this region okay so maybe I'll just go with US East let's see if it is available there and I don't think so you can just go and spin it up you would have to um, you would have to request it from AWS I guess I'm more than sure okay it is not okay, maybe it is not available here in the Linux one so I think you would have to request it from AWS so it is not showing me here anyway so but it is a massive massive um, instance okay I was able to find it it was I just had to select this Linux here in the operating system and it is only available in two regions US East North Virginia and Oregon so I just selected North Virginia here selected the P548 text large and look at the cost in the on-demand it is like seven almost 72,000 US dollar per month so that is like I mean you know a sort of small house um, in the rural US or maybe in outback Australia so that's it guys you can see that uh, um, how expensive it can get pretty quickly so of course you can't just go in and anyone select it from console you might have to request it from AWS with your business case but even then if you have your own personal account you can uh, it can get out of hand fairly quickly I'm repeating it again and again because I have seen this um, getting hit pretty badly to people so you know it's all good to play around spin it up play it for two three hours then just stop it or terminate it because when the instance is stopped it won't charge you but if it is running it will keep costing you that's it i hope that you found it valuable and useful if you have any questions or thoughts let me know happy to help out and if you're looking to use any other public cloud provider like gcp or azure or alibaba or any other they all have their similar um, offerings and under the hood they are using the same nvidia cards so you can simply apply the same logic and then see uh, select your relevant instance if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and a heartfelt request if you already are subscribed please share the channel and the videos among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching